there. So we're going to show you how to download and install Scribus, which is open source desktop publishing software. And if you search Scribus on Google, the top result should be Scribus.net, which is the official website. If you click through to that and then go up to the top and click Get Scribus, and then Take Me to Downloads, which is about halfway down the page, you then land on this page, and it only says up to Windows 10, but these versions are valid for Windows 11. You've also got a portable version. You need to take it around with you on USB and some Mac OS versions, but we're going to download the Windows 64 bit version. It only says up to Windows 10, but we're going to show you can install it on Windows 11. So if we click on that link, we accept the cookies there, and then it takes you to this folder unhelpfully with all the different downloads in. But the one we want is Scribus 1.4.8 Windows X64.exe. So if we click on that, it will take us through to this page. It should start downloading after a few seconds. If it doesn't, you can click on this button, problems downloading, and then it should trigger the download. Scribus itself is less than 100 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long to download this at all. And it builds itself as powerful desktop publishing software as an alternative um, to the Adobe software, which you can use for the same thing but actually it costs an awful lot of money. Most of the Adobe products are on a subscription basis now, which can make it unaffordable for some people. So if you are looking for a free alternative desktop publishing software, then Scribus is the way to go. And if we click home, we can see here that they've had a new version 1.58, 1.5.8 released recently. And it is, a genuinely free piece of software so there's no need to worry about being nagged to buy it once it's finished downloading if you single click on that and press yes on user access control it will load the installation file for you once setup is loaded we'll then be able to proceed with the installation select a language many languages are available we're going to leave it on english and then it welcomes you to the scribus 1.48 setup which is the latest version so if you click next on that, it's again released under the GNU General Public License. Okay, so you've probably read that a million times already, but you need to accept the terms of the license to be able to proceed. Then you can choose from the options of things you want to install. So Scribus files are required, you can't uncheck that. Additional fonts, which may be of use to you. Uh, desktop shortcut and shortcut for all users. And in total, that'll take 242 megabytes. So we're going to leave all them on and click next. Default location is program files slash Scribus 1.4.8. You can browse to a new location by clicking this button if you want to choose an alternative location. Once you click next, it'll ask you what you want in the start menu folder. Scribus 1.4.8 is the default, so we're going to leave it as that, but you can change it to whatever you would like. And then if you click the install button, it'll start installing the Scribus files, which should install in less than a minute. So it's a really fast installation. It'll slow down a bit once it's getting to installing the runtimes, and this is probably the longest part of the process while we're waiting for it to do this. We'll then install some additional files, which will go as fast as the first chunk. And then once we get to the end, we can either show the README, well, we can show the README, we're going to uncheck that, uh, and we can run Scribus 1.48. If you leave that checked, when you click Finish, it will launch. If you uncheck it, it'll just quit back to your desktop. So we'll leave that checked and press Finish. Scribus then is going to load. It's creating the font cache. It'll only have to be at the first time it starts. So it will take a little longer to start Scribus the first time you do it. But as you can see, not too much. Ghost script is missing. Is that installing system? Our Scribus is not configured to the path of the software. So it's remedied. You cannot import EPS images or use PostScript from preview. If those two things are important, you, you need to install Ghost script. Otherwise, you can just click OK. And then it will ask you what kind of document you want to create. So we've got Scribes in the background there, new document, we're just gonna click single page for now, press okay. And there we have it. We are ready to go with Scribus. I hope that helps. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tech tutorials and we shall see you again shortly. Bye.